Hey everybody, how you doing? It's Bruce here, Stock Markets with Bruce. Um, uh, welcome to uh, the midday show here. Uh, it's a it's a recap. What is happening? What stocks are moving right now that we're following closely? Uh, it's October the 20th, 2021. And uh, there are four stocks that are uh, making moves that I figured I'd mention to you today. The first one I'm going to talk to you about uh, as I'm looking at my phone here, Rocket Lab. I want to talk to you about Rocket Lab. The shares have moved up here um, as I'm talking to you now at about... Uh, 2.30 in the afternoon, uh, 12.77, near the high of the day, um, volume on the shares, 3.2 million. Rocket Lab has had a rough week. Uh, if you take a look at the chart, you'll notice that it's it's backed off uh, uh, and bottomed out here in this uh, 12 odd dollar range, uh, 12.25 or so. We were in the 13.50 range uh, last week and, uh, and we had been even into the 15.16s a few weeks ago. Anyway, today, a uh, good run uh, after the opening, a solid rise all day long. Um, news this morning coming out is that uh, the the company is going to try to um, uh, uh, re uh, reuse and and recycle their latest rocket, their Electron rocket, which I guess is going to be their most powerful and uh, most expensive. Um, they're going to attempt <coughs> to. Um, uh, send helicopters into the ocean to retrieve these rockets and how to perhaps reuse them. So that that's a good sign. Um, it's a pro it's probably a very smart move economically. Um, could save them millions of dollars between launches. Other companies are doing obviously the rocket recovery game, and so uh, we'll see how this plays out. So Rocket Lab is having a good day now, forty three cents on the day. Number two stock in uh, in highlight that I want to highlight for you is SoFi Technologies. SoFi. The uh, online banker, 2092 is the current market right now, up 70 cents. Shares have already hit 2106 today. The volume, 18.8 million already today. Um, this stock has uh, uh, has had a great week. Uh, it's getting a lot of positive press. It had a down day yesterday for the first time in several days, like four or five days in a row. And now today it's coming on again. The volume says it all. Um, steady volume will probably hit 25 million, maybe 30 million again today depending on the final numbers. And it's just it's just going to keep climbing. The, the, the company has now um, uh, reached a point where um, the the market, the, the, the street, let's call it, in New York, they're aware of these guys. Uh, they know what they're about. They know what they're doing. And uh, they like what they see. And uh, a lot of institutions are nibbling away at the stock and the cheap, Easy to get paper that used to be available at thirteen fifty, fourteen fifty, fifteen bucks, sixteen bucks. That's all gone. It, it it was all available until last week. It all got, it got all gobbled up by long term holders who are going to hold this stock for quite some time. And this 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 company's shares are no longer available at these cheap prices. Uh, it, it's now going to be a twenty to twenty four, twenty five dollar stock, in my opinion. I think we're on our way to 22 to 25 a share in the in immediate future as this continues to solidify and, and just get get more popular. Uh, the buying just keeps coming in. Stock number three, 23 and Me. What is happening here? Symbol ME. 23 and Me uh, got mentioned uh, casually last week, Thursday night. Um, this now being uh, Wednesday. This is six days ago. And the shares uh, Thursday evening in the aftermarket and then Friday traded 20 plus million shares and it's been active ever since uh the stock today 2022 of 59 cents it's a high of the day already 1073 today uh 5.3 million again traded we'll probably do six or seven million today the way this is going uh, very strong volume uh solid buying again from long-term investors we're, we're not getting day traders in here like looking to buy today and sell later today there's a there's some of that but the vast majority of the power coming into this stock is to get it and put it away and uh, and uh, enjoy a run because the talk is 30 to 50 dollars in a year for this company and the shares they are sitting on over 750 million in cash uh, they haven't spent yet uh, from their takeover of their SPAC. Um, th there's big stuff brewing here. We're just waiting for it to to for the company to tell us what they're up to. The shares are not waiting for the announcement to make the first move. So from that 780, 760 range a week ago, now we're at 1018. Easily $12 is in the future here very shortly. And then we'll see what happens after that. Uh, um, there's lots going on behind the scenes on 23andMe. The fourth stock uh, that I'll tell you about today is uh, ATIP, ATI Physical Therapy Centers, trading at 285 right at this moment, down 80 cents on the day. 
shares, 11.78 million, let's call it 11.8 million traded so far today. Very heavy volume compared to a normal day of one or two million shares. The company came out last night with a clarification and a uh, um, sort of a heads up that their third quarter numbers will be slightly weaker than they had thought they would be a quarter ago, but it's not a disaster. It's uh, it's a company that is uh, reorganizing itself. Uh, they're in the hunt right now and they're trying to solidify a brand new CEO. I think they're very close to announcing that, but they didn't announce this last night. They announced that their sales are a little lower than thought, uh, but that they have made some significant turnarounds, a couple of which are for every person that is leaving the company, two people are joining the company. So they have turned around their hiring uh, trajectory. They're on the way up with more therapists coming in. This is good news because this company cannot make more money unless they hire more people. Uh, you go in for physiotherapy, you can't do it yourself. You need someone to help you with uh, these uh, these treatments. And uh, they are adding dramatically to their to their headcounts. Um, they're also adding locations. 55 to 60 will be open additionally this year by the end of the year. That'll put them into the 950 range. Uh, they are also sitting on 135 million in cash from everything we're hearing now. 530 million, 130 million in cash. As I talk to you right now, um, the shares uh, trading at this 287 range, whatever it is, uh, the market cap of this company is is being shown off at at five hundred and sixty four million dollars. One hundred and thirty five million of that is actually cash in their bank account. They're not losing hundreds of millions of dollars a year. They're they're more or less breaking even, maybe losing five million a year. They're just about to break even and about to go positive on their on their bottom line. This one hundred and thirty million is not here to keep the company alive. This one hundred and thirty thirty five million is really to be utilized going forward to expand the company and grow it to a larger level. And I suspect that the new CEO, when this individual is announced, will likely have very strong Wall Street connections for additional funding of the company through perhaps bond issues, notes, uh, senior notes. And uh, do not be surprised if this company starts to make announcements later this year into next year where they start to announce the acquisition of competition, where they'll buy up regional therapy centers in various regions of the country to add to their count of existing therapy centers. They are the number one outpatient therapy center in the United States. There are 30,000 to 33,000 places you can go to get physical therapy. I think the game plan here, and the immediate game plan is to get up to the 3,000 mark in a few years and then go from there to become the dominant by far, absolutely number one center in the United States. That's why they went public. That's why they raised cash. And I think they can raise a lot more. But at the, at this moment in time, today, these shares are at rock bottom prices. 286.87 a share. The all-time low has been 281 or so. This is an absolute bargain, as I like to say. Uh, if you can scoop this stuff up, put this away i think the recovery to the six to eight dollar range is is a is a no-brainer but even getting to the 10 12 level once they start making acquisitions again as they get their house in order will be the order of the day and i think you're going to see a real nice return on your stock i know a number of investors and viewers of mine are picking off options you can actually buy 250 call options on this stuff um, going way out to next year and beyond, uh, they are doing it um, because their game plan is simple. If these shares recover to five, six dollars. These options are going to be three, four dollars a piece, and uh, they're scooping them up for under a buck right now. So, if you're a long termer and you like a turnaround story, here it is. This company's only been public three months, and it's gone from ten dollars to two eighty six. Uh, this has got to be one of the biggest uh, pullbacks of all the SPACs or former SPACs, but I suspect that this company can turn it around and it might start very shortly with the, the appointment of a brand new CEO, probably a new team, including a very uh, talented group of people in the investor relations department. Wouldn't be surprised if that happens. There you have it. There are the four stocks making news right now that we're following closely on this channel. Join me Monday to Friday at 8.30 in the morning, one hour before the market opens, and at 3 o'clock in the afternoon for the last hour of the day for live coverage of the markets in plain English. I'll try to make it as simple as possible. If you want to learn how to write options against stock you already own, in other words, 
enhance your portfolio's performance by bringing in option premium, check out my website, stockmarketswithbruce.ca. Check out the classes that I have listed in there. You can watch them one at a time. You don't have to buy all 10 of them. You can buy one at a time whenever you're ready. Learn how to write stock options. And I talk about doing it in a plain English way with stocks that we follow all the time so that you're not going to go and get a lesson and watch me talk to you about how to do currency trading or anything like that that you have no interest in. If you're interested in the stocks we follow on this channel, you're going to be interested in these lessons on how to write options against them and uh, make additional income. All right, guys, that is the latest here for October the 20th, 2021, as we get ready for the final hour of the day. Thanks for joining me today. We'll see you next time, everybody. Bye for now.